by a few tidying up thoughts at the end of the season. Here's the uh, little orchard of pears I was mentioning earlier. So a few leaves. Made some decent growth this year. And uh, there's fruit bud right to the end of uh, the current year's growth, which is nice. I'm going to manage these as pyramids, I think. Um, you'll notice that this is um, uh, uh, some pomace. This is the leftovers after pressing the apples. Um, obviously, there's still some potassium in this, a good deal of um, uh, biomass and probably a bit of protein there as well, a fair bit of protein from the pips. So that what we tend to do with this is chuck it out uh, around the base of the tree. You want to be careful it doesn't uh, actually clag right up to the uh, base. You don't want to have anything uh, against the trunk because that may uh, predispose to rot. Um, to cast your mind, but you may recall that I had some Bramley apples here uh, which were um, cut out. I didn't totally dig the whole of them out, I got rid of them as much as I could. But there's a few, this is an apple shoot coming up from ground level where um, the Bramley uh, apple was cut down round about here. It may have been on this very spot. I didn't plant these um, apples in, these, these new pears in the exact hole that the Bramleys came out of. So what you could do, what I may very well do, is decide to dig down here, dig this up, transplant it somewhere else and I'll have a Malingerton 106 rootstock grown from the roots of the Bramley that I cut out. And these pears are growing quite nicely. I think I'm probably going to stake them. See the way they've grown quite upright. Uh, nice of good angles growing out laterally. Some strong upright uh, ones here. These want to come down at an angle like that. So I'm probably not going to prune these and uh, just let them form fruit buds and then when they fruit they'll eventually pull down and we'll get a nice pyramid. But I may well decide to stake these so we can stop them bending over, keep a nice uh, pyramid shape. So they've, uh, uh, they've done quite well. That's, uh, so that's the growth that's been made this year. It's about a foot of growth. Uh, that's the growth that was made last year. So it's somewhat like, doubled in size. I uh, didn't allow these um, pears uh, which are now at the end of their second year, I didn't allow any of these pears to fruit. I snipped off the little fruitlets, but a few got missed and we let them grow on. And, and actually we had um, two or three very nice juicy conference pears uh, from here and uh, a decent amount of uh, fruit bud. Um, so hoping to get maybe four or five pears from each of these trees. There's, 100, there's, you know, there's uh, 30 trees, so maybe 150 pears. Uh, so maybe about 20 kilos of pears next year. We took a few pears from our um, uh, espalier trees to the market and they were sold within minutes. So pears very popular.